this thing is going to work is these uprights right here, if I may show them to you, bring them right to your attention. I done already welded that one inch by two and a half, I think it was, across through there. Drilled them half inch holes in yonder and then just kind of free form that around there in order to clear to clear that bearing the outside radius there with the ample clearance and when you put both of them in there and look at them from the back you can see that it's got a lot of clearance that with those two the bearings and, and the way the way I did that is 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 I done already had them bearings over yonder in the uh, they was I had four of them alike and these these washers right here are the banjo they banjer fitting washers, you know, going to oil system or something like that right there. And they're little bitty things. Uh, enough to where that they only fit on the inside collar in yonder. And there's no restriction on that bearing right there. So those will go, four, four of those assemblies will go in this area right here. That's where them will go, just like that. Two of them, one on each side. I will I will uh, assemble these with a lock nut, and what I'll do I'll make me a measurement there, and while the paint's drying on this, I'll cut those to length. We'll assemble it with the lock washers, and uh, and also the holes, those holes up there have a shoulder long enough to where that bearing is a good fit, and the same is the same is true here. That unthreaded portion, the bolt was sufficient length to where that unthreaded portion is long enough to where that is actually the alignment with a washer on there. It comes out just right. That's the alignment distance for those bolts, and it puts that in good true alignment. The threaded portion is a little bit smaller. Those will be assembled with a lock washer also. So that's pretty much the way that uh, the way that's going to be, just like this right here. And also, I do have the holes in the outriggers here, where that if this was going to be used on a un unlevel surface, I actually could install some leveling screws if need be. But I work on a level table, so I don't think that I will need that. But the option is there, and the way that will work is this dial indicator uh, it amount about right there and the shaft will protrude ever how long it is and and this will this will be the deciding factor if your crankshaft is bent or not if it's bent then we go to the press and do a little straighten but I'm gonna I'm gonna paint it and then we'll come back for a show and tell but uh, you know it's pretty much finished it's a crankshaft cons concentry. Oh, that's a tough word for a country boy. It's it's to tell if you crankshaft is concentric from one end to the other, or just a shaft in general. Consist concentric, meaning the same on. Uh, well, just look it up. Let that be the homework for today. Let's get some paint on it now.